Okay, so let's see how you can uh, display the desired number of rows and columns uh, in Spider when you're using Pandas. So let's uh, suppose you have um, two examples of data frames. Let's say this first one here. And um, it has a large number of rows, uh, 1,000 rows. And also the columns are... Um, uh, I I each of the rows has a single column uh, with a large number of uh, characters. And you want to uh, be able to see the entire matrix in your IPython console. So the first thing you need to do is uh, go to preferences and change uh, the size of your buffer. So if your data frame has 1000 rows, make sure it's uh, larger than this. So 2000 should be enough. So that's the first step, uh, and uh, what you need to do th next is, uh, is change a couple of uh, Pandas options. So the first option uh, you should change is um, the maximum number of rows. So let's set it to 100, see what happens. So, um, and also let's change the column width to, um, let's say 10, and see what happens. So, just get your um, data frame and just um, print it. And uh, you can see that uh, even though your buffer, uh, let's make this console a little bigger. So even though your buffer um, actually would allow you to show all of the rows, because we set the option to 100, you only see 100 rows. Um, and because, um, uh, well, let me change the, uh, the column width here to 10. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's look at that again. Yep. Uh, so if you change the column width to 10, you will not be able to see um, all of the characters in your row. So let's say you want to see um, all your rows, right? So you, what you need to do is uh, increase the maximum number of rows to at least 1,000. So, and then just look at your data frame again. And now if you just scroll here, you'll see that actually you can, you can look at all of your rows like that. Uh, now, if you also want to see all of the uh, characters in each of your rows, you need to increase the column width. Uh, so let's make it 100. And uh, as you can see now, you can see all of your uh, characters in each row and you can see all of your rows. Okay, so, so that's one example. Now let's see, um, l let's say you have another example where you have um, a data frame that has um, a small number of rows, but, but it has a large number of columns. Let's say 15, 15 columns. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and create that data frame. And um, let's say you have, um, you have not initialized this variable here. So let's make it 10 and see what happens. So if it's set to 10 or what, whatever is the, uh, the default, the default is usually small. Um, so if you want to see all your columns, uh, you need to change that. Uh, as you, you, you cannot right now, right? You cannot see all your columns here. Uh, so you need to increase the maximum number of columns. Let's make, make this 100. And uh, you go here. Now you can see all your columns. So uh, these were a couple of tricks that, um, you know, uh, that you can use to inspect your uh, uh, inspect your uh, data frame in your console. Of course, uh, another thing you can do, you can use the variable explorer in, pun in, in, uh, in Spider. Um, so you can just open your data frame here, but some people prefer using the console. So um, hope this helps and you find it useful and um, thank you for watching.